This is how I study renal uh, mechanism of acid base balance. Now, this is the last one, okay, that um, we're going to be covering. Okay, what, um, what I meant to say was that was the last one. Rem remember, we had the concentration of hydrogen ions is regulated sequentially by chemical buffers with the bicarbonate buffers. And then we have the brainstem respiratory centers with um, ventilation, hypoventilation, um, all of that. And then we have the renal mechanisms right now, which is most potent, but requires hours to days to affect the pH changes. Now let's return to the renal mechanisms. Okay, so again, renal mechanism of acid-base balance, right? Only long-term mechanism to um, balance pH. Renal regulation of acid-base balance depends on secretion of hydrogen ions or bicarbonate. Occurs in the DCT intercalated um, cells. Reabsorbing one bicarbonate is the same as losing one hydrogen ion. Secreting one um, bicarbonate is the same as gaining one hydrogen ion. Okay, so as, as you can see in this diagram right here, we have the first one right here, right? And CA right here is carbonic um, anhydrase. Now we have this one right here, H2CO3, right? That is carbonic um, acid. Now that goes and it breaks down into bicarbonate and hydrogen, right? Now bicarbonate um, gets secreted okay like I said um, excreting one bicarbonate is the same as gaining one hydrogen okay because we have a hydrogen over here and it goes on and it attaches to another bicarbonate all right now that again creates carbonic acid now carbonic acid that gets broken down into H2O and carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide comes and attaches to H2O. That gives you carbonic acid all over again. So reabsorbing one um, bicarbonate is the same as losing one hydrogen. Secreting one um, bicarbonate is the same as gaining one hydrogen. Because those two will always um, come together, okay? Remember that. Okay, so we have generating new bicarbonate ions, right? Dietary um, hydrogen must be balanced by generating new um, bicarbonate. Involves metabolism of glutamine in PCT cells, okay, glutamine. Um, each glutamine produces two NH4 and two new carbo um, bicarbonate. Bicarbonate moves to the blood and NH4 is secreted into the urine. Okay, now this is the urine over here. Here we go, zooming in, we have glutamine, right? Now glutamine goes into a um, deamination, oxidation, and acidification there. That breaks down into two bicarbonate, right? And then we have the two NH4s going, secreted into the filtrate here. Alright, and then that's it, right? And we have the um, HCO3 gets um, passed on to the peritubular capillary over here. I remember acidosis. Remember that acidosis equals the kidneys, okay? Respiratory acidosis, okay, equals the kidneys. We absorb bicarbonate, we secrete and excrete hydrogen, kidney split glutamine when there are too many hydrogen to make bicarbonate, right? Because more bicarbonate equals attachment of hydrogen. Remember that, okay? So when there are too many hydrogen, Kidney split the glutamine to make two um, bicarbonate. Or they can absorb bicarbonate or they can secrete and um, excrete hydrogen. All right? Okay, so when bicarbonate ion secretion, 
When the body is in alkalosis instead of acidosis, intercalated cells secrete bicarbonate and reclaim hydrogen and acidify the blood. Again, remember, okay, acidosis, okay, it goes to kidneys. They absorb bicarbonate so it can attach to hydrogen or they secrete and, um, and excrete hydrogen. And of course, the kidney splits glutamine when there are too many hydrogen to make two, I should put two here, two bicarbonate, okay, now those two bicarbonate is going to find the hydrogen, all right, so that's how you um, secrete and excrete um, hydrogen.